morning, our wonderful Hands Up Hope supporters. This is Ashley Hughes. I'm coming to you live from the Intelligent Design office. Um, I'm here with Andrew Dobbins, who is the owner of Intelligent Design, and he's also our Raise Hope Walk for Life sponsor. And it's just such an honor for me to be here. Thank you guys for your support. Um, you know, being in this position, I'm in development, right, with Hands Up Hope. I get to see so many people come together and use their talents for the Lord. And so um, being just part of the iDesign family, I actually was former staff with Intelligent Design. I just have a few questions for you, and then we're going to get into some other hands help stuff. So how long have you owned um, Intelligent Design? So I started Intelligent Design in 2011 and uh, been gone since then. And what encouraged you or what sparked you to start a company like this in Tucson of all places? Yeah, so I, uh, when I got out of the Marine Corps, I uh, just got jobs here and there and I uh, just had a heart for entrepreneurship. Ended up working for an AC company, um, worked for other people for about five years before starting my own company. And so um, initially it was just going out on my own to, to do it uh, as, as good as we can and serve the community. And uh, now it's transitioned into um, more of serving the kingdom and, uh, and being able to do as good as we can for the community as well as give as much money away to, to worthy causes. Well, I know we like that at Hands of Hope, <laughs> and of course you guys being our sponsor, we, we really appreciate that. What You, you talked about giving to the kingdom and being kingdom business. What does that mean? Can you kind of explain a little bit more about that? Yeah, so uh, I know a lot of uh, Christian business owners or, or just people that uh, are successful, they, their idea is, hey, we're going go to go to work, we're going to do well, and then we're going to give money to the kingdom. Um, a while back, I was, uh, I was exposed to the idea of it, it can be more than that, where we spend the most amount of time with the people that we spend the most amount of time with and the most amount of our energies is typically not in church. It's not with the ministries. It's not even with our family. It's usually at the job. And so uh, ministry in the marketplace, the kingdom um, in the business so that people uh, come into the culture. Maybe they're not saved when they, they come in, but um, they they see the love and the care that we take of the staff. And then with that, a lot of people get saved, but also they take that love and, and go out. Uh, you know, we're servants of the community with uh, air conditioning, plumbing, and electric. And being a service business, if, if we're loving our staff, then they're loving the community around us. So. I love that. That's awesome. And a little bit earlier before we were talking about um, you have some of your mentors coming into town that actually have inspired you with some of that kingdom business work. Can you tell us about the events they're going to be doing here in Tucson this week? Yeah, so um, Rick and Holly Beatonbow, they're out of Lubbock, Texas, and uh, they're who first exposed Amy and I to the idea of kingdom business and not separating uh, secular business with the ministry giving and the, to merge them. And they, they've done this incredibly in their business. Uh, they, they run a home building company in West Texas. They build over a thousand homes a year and just have an incredible team where people all the time are, are coming into the business, getting saved. Um, they've given tens of millions of dollars away uh, to missions and ministries and, and take their staff with them on, on missions trips and just have, have built an incredible uh, model for us to uh, duplicate. They're teaching uh, how to do this at Family Life Radio. It's actually not at Family Life, it's at the Journey Church, uh, 4700 North Swan, and it's actually tomorrow evening at four o'clock. So anybody that's a business owner or wants to be, and wants to see how uh, the kingdom is working in the marketplace, uh, get, on, uh, get on Facebook, go to the Family Life page and, and uh, RSVP, it's free. Uh, the Beaten Bows are flying here on their own dime. Family Life is not paying them, I'm not paying them, they're just uh, trying to spread the good word because um, God's doing a work in the marketplace. Wow, that's awesome. And of course, um, we hope that our, our donors, our supporters will go out to this event because the more we learn about the kingdom and it takes all of us coming together to really help families facing unplanned pregnancy, provide prevention services um, to youth and their parents and also to come alongside those that have um, had an abortion experience and, and find healing restoration. I mean, the more of us that are coming together around people that are hurting and lost in this city, um, I mean, we, we're really all going to benefit, correct? Um, so I want to encourage everybody, again, who said it's 4 to 6 p.m. at the Journey Church, free event. You can RSVP online. 
Um, well, I want to appreciate uh, appreciate you and thank you for your, not only your time today, but your sponsorship to the ministry. And as a way to say thank you, we have your own Raise Hope t-shirt. Right. Um, I know you're going to be out there the day of the event and your four cute kiddos, your beautiful wife. So I'll also bring you some shirts for them. Um, but that's just a way to say thank you and thank you for raising hope. We want all of you guys to come out. Um, I'm reading my notes to just make sure it's 8 till 11, um, Saturday, May 11th. It is at Kino Sports Park, but there is a, a park back behind, and it, the actual name, if you put it in your GPS, is Sam Lena Park. So if you want to put that in your GPS, you're going to get pinpoint location directly to parking. We have people out there flagging you down with big smiles telling you where to park. Um, so we'll hope to see you all out on May 11th. God bless. Thanks. Bye. Bye.